exposing the hidden war in the tech world, a high-stakes game of technological dominance. Buckle up, Buttercup, because the tech world is having a full-blown meltdown. At the heart of this digital drama, tiny little things called microchips. These aren't your grandma's calculator chips, my friend. They're the brains behind everything from your smartphone to self-driving cars. The US and China are locked in an epic battle for control of this technology. And trust me, things are getting spicy. In this high-stakes game of technological dominance, the future is up for grabs. ASML The unsung hero of our digital lives. Let's talk about ASML, shall we? No, it's not a new dating app, and no, it's not some obscure Scandinavian metal band. ASML, my friends, is a Dutch company you've probably never heard of, but they hold the keys to the entire tech kingdom. Why? Because they make the most sophisticated microchip-making machines on the planet. Think of them like the Willy Wonka of wafers, the Michelangelo of microchips. These machines are so complex, so precise, that they make brain surgery look like a game of operation. And without them, we'd all be stuck with flip phones and dial-up internet. Not exactly the high-tech utopia we were promised, is it? So ASML is kind of a big deal. They're the quiet achievers, the unsung heroes of our digital lives. But their low profile is about to change because they're smack bang in the middle of this US-China tech showdown. And let me tell you folks, things are about to get interesting. America's anxiety. Why is the US concerned about China's technological rise? Now, you might be wondering why the US is so worried about China's tech ambitions. Isn't competition a good thing? Well, in theory, sure. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, please subscribe, like and share our videos for more updated and exciting content. Let's continue. But in the world of geopolitics, things are rarely that simple. C. The US has been the undisputed tech titan for decades. It's like the cool kid in school who always aced the tests and got all the girls or boys or non-binary pals. Let's be inclusive here. But lately, China has been hitting the books, studying hard, and it's starting to catch up. And frankly, it's making the US a little nervous. The US is worried that China could use its newfound technological prowess for, shall we say, less than noble purposes. Think AI-powered surveillance, cyber attacks, and other things that keep cybersecurity experts up at night. And then there's the whole economic rivalry thing. The US doesn't want to lose its edge as the world's tech superpower. So it's pulling out all the stops to maintain its lead, even if it means playing a little dirty. Drawing the line in the Silicon US restrictions on ASML. So what does this have to do with ASML, our Dutch microchip maestros? Well, remember those super-duper advanced chip-making machines they make? The ones that are basically the holy grail of tech? The US has decided that it doesn't want those machines anywhere near China. It's like refusing to share your toys, but on a global scale. The US has been pressuring the Netherlands, where ASML is based, to ban the sale of these machines to China. And guess what? In October 2023, the Dutch government announced new export restrictions, effectively blocking ASML from selling its most advanced machines to China. Ouch. Now the US argues that these restrictions are necessary for national security. They say that China could use these machines to develop advanced weapon systems and other technologies that could threaten the US and its allies. China, on the other hand, is not happy. Not happy at all. They see this as a blatant attempt to stifle their technological progress and maintain US dominance. And they're not just going to sit back and take it. How is China responding to these restrictions? China is a nation with a long memory, and they're not known for backing down from a challenge. So how are they responding to these US restrictions? They're not taking it lying down. China is fighting back on multiple fronts. They're investing heavily in their domestic chip-making industry, pouring billions into research and development to become self-sufficient. 
They're also getting crafty with diplomacy, strengthening ties with other countries to build alternative supply chains. And they're accusing the US of hypocrisy. This whole situation is messy, folks. Global tech tremors. What are the potential consequences of this technological tug of war? So, what does all this mean for the rest of us? Well, buckle up, Buttercup, because this technological tug of war is going to have some serious ripple effects. First and foremost, get ready for higher prices. Remember those microchips that power everything? Well, they're about to get a whole lot more expensive. The US restrictions on ASML are already disrupting global supply chains, and that's going to drive up costs for everyone. Second, this whole situation is fueling innovation, but not necessarily in a good way. Both the US and China are pouring billions of dollars into developing their own independent tech ecosystems. That means we could end up with two separate internets, two incompatible sets of standards, and a whole lot of confusion. Innovation. Under siege. Can China innovate its way out of this predicament? Now, the big question on everyone's mind is, can China actually innovate its way out of this predicament? Can they really build their own ASML, their own ecosystem of cutting-edge technology, without relying on the US? Well, it's not going to be easy, that's for sure. Building advanced chip-making machines is incredibly complex. It requires years of research, billions of dollars in investment, and a highly skilled workforce. But here's the thing about China. They're incredibly resourceful. They've shown time and time again that they're capable of achieving seemingly impossible technological feats. And they're certainly not lacking in ambition. China has made it clear that they're determined to become a global leader in technology, no matter the cost. So while the US restrictions on ASML are a significant setback, it's too early to count China out. They've got the brains, the resources and the determination to make a serious run at technological independence. And that's something the US should be very, very worried about. A world divided. The spectre of a bifurcated tech future. This technological cold war between the US and China isn't just about microchips and trade wars. It's about something much bigger. It's about the future of the internet, the future of innovation, and the future of the global order. We're headed towards a world where the internet is no longer a unifying force, but a tool of division. A world where innovation is stifled by geopolitical rivalry and distrust. And a world where the US and China are locked in a perpetual struggle for dominance, with the rest of us caught in the crossfire. This is not the future any of us signed up for but it's the future we're hurtling towards unless we find a way to de-escalate this conflict, to rebuild trust, and to find a way to coexist in the digital age. Looking ahead. What does the future hold for the global tech landscape? So what does the future hold for the global tech landscape? Honestly, folks, I'm not here to offer you false hope or sugarcoat the situation. The future is about as clear as a magic eight ball after a tequila bender. What we're witnessing is a fundamental shift in the global balance of power, with technology at the very heart of it. The US restrictions on ASML are just one chapter in this ongoing saga. One thing's for sure though, the world is watching, and how this all plays out will have profound consequences for all of us. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to learn more about the intersection of tech and geopolitics, be sure to check out my other videos on the topic. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.